the much unforgettable day digital show. Yes, that's good. Okay, Dina. So is it this one from 2021? I assume it is. Let me know, Dina. All right. Let's check it out. So Dimash with Unforgettable Day uh, at the digital show. Magnum Double All right, let's check it out. Here we go. Wait, it starts off different than what I'm used to. It's a different beginning, like it's only on the piano, basically. And I think it's different uh, than, than, um, than in Gaku or the Almaty concert. It is live. Like, is this the same concert that we saw, like, SOS from and some other songs? That was during the pandemic, right? Uh, this concert. So this was not with uh, an actual audience then. <laughs> A beautiful lighting here and beautiful uh, scenery right now. I mean, it's a screen, of course, but even this, even so. Um, so in the beginning of Unforgettable Day, it's always very and softly and then more of like a breathy, 
way of singing. And that's with a lot of the songs that Dimash sings. Like a lot of the beginnings are very uh, soft and breathy. Because it's more... Uh, gives more emotion-like. Uh, it g- gives off a more sensitive feel. And right now it's stronger, it's more powerful, it's less breathy and more of a belt. It's it's more of, a, of um, more volume as well now, right now. Is there any deer who doesn't know this song word to word? Well, I cannot sing along in, in, uh, in Kazakh, let's say. So, there's that. <laughs> This is a part that he didn't do in the Gaku, right? Uh, this is a run that he didn't do there. I think in the Gaku concert that it was um, instrumental. An instrumental part where he, where he didn't sing at all. And here he does that, I think. <laughs> I'm sorry, he was just about to sing. But, man, that was a very strong part. A couple of differences with the Gaku concert, which is more viewed, I feel like, than than this uh, performance. But in that... In this one, he had a straight run. He had the vibrato, but in the Gaku concert, he uh, lifted up his mic a lot um, to have these different effects on his voice uh, with volume. And this part, just before it, here he didn't sing at all, which he did do in the Gaku. So beforehand, he did a run in this one that he didn't do in Gaku, and now vice versa. I, th- I think so, I'm pretty sure. I like the vibe here. Like, 
The one thing that the Gaku Festival performance is known for is, of course, that super, super high whistle note from Dimash, right? Uh, that some people might not even hear because it's that high. Uh, so that one is not in here. But there are some differences, of course. That that was a cool one. Nice that I got to see another version of it. And a lot of the musical aspect here was different. And I kind of like the music in this one a bit better, actually, than the one in Gaku myself. I like the smoothness in this one, the smooth vibe uh, and, and the live aspect here. Um, Voice-wise, there were some things that, I'll, that I preferred here. It would have been nice, of course, to hear that other whistle note. But aside from that, it was it was a super good version. I might actually prefer this one to the Gaku uh, concert. So uh, thank you so much for the suggestion, Dina. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it.